Welcome to The Lonely Dragon, and we are here today with Eric Fell. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Eric. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Edwin. So, we're going to talk today about the Critical Hit Show. Sure. Right. Okay. So, you want to tell us how you started out with the Critical Hit Show and what it is? Yes. The Critical Hit Show is a live uh, comedy show. It's improvised, and it's based on role-playing games like Dungeons and & Dragons and all that good stuff. Cool. And, uh, yeah, it's loads of fun. And who's in it? Well, uh, I, I, of course, am the, uh, the Dungeon Master and host, and uh, the adventurers are some of Vancouver's finest comedic talent. We have uh, Ian Boothby, who's a writer for uh, The Simpsons comic book and Futurama comic books. Uh, he also uh, is a writer for The Irrelevant Show, which is a CBC radio sketch show starring Mark Mir. Really? Yeah, it's yeah. really good, it's really funny. Awesome. Uh, there is Sean Stewart, who is a Vancouver improviser, is very, very funny. He plays uh, uh, Brask Hellbeard, the dwarf bard. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of a bard, but he's uh, a singing uh, warrior. Adventurer type. Adventurer That's type. pretty awesome. Yeah, you should, you, you know yeah. what, you know what? You can use that. Thanks. You can use that. And, and I believe he doesn't actually have a beard, isn't that right? Yes, he does not have a beard because uh, like all members of Clan Hellbeard, uh, his beard awaits him in hell. Uh, oh, I should also mention Ian plays a cleric, an agnostic cleric named Benoit the Anointed. Uh, we half also, elf, right? Half elf? Half elf. Half elf. Okay. But we don't know what the other half is. That's never been addressed. Right. Uh, we have uh, Joanna Gaskell. Uh, she is. Uh, she plays an elf barbarian named Edda. Oh, what a ridiculous mm. class race combination. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Uh, but uh, I hear that. Uh, I hear she's kind of cashed in on it. It's got her some traction. You know, yeah. I hear. This is what I've heard. Maybe. Um, and of course, uh, this version of Edda has been bitten by a werewolf, so she also has the power to transform into a werewolf. She has various uh, canine powers. Uh, not canine, <laughs> the dog from Doctor Who, but uh, canine, the term, the, tax, the taxonomic Latin term. The taxonomic for term for a dog. dog. Yeah. Okay. So, Joanna's a. No, no. No, we're not, we're not going to go there? We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there because everybody can see you and they'll be no, like, what's scary. wrong with Eric? He's totally wrong. Uh, we have uh, Lauren McGibbon who plays Grima Windward, the human thief. She steals things. She does it well. She does it well. She's good at, she's, yeah. she's definitely good at taking things mm -hmm. from other people. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about the character. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Who else? Anyone else That was there? just a good cut point, I think. Just, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I don't think we have any cuts in this show, actually. No, no the director yeah. shaking his head at me disapprovingly, no. yeah. and now he's giving me the finger. Yeah. And uh, now he's, nice. he's now he's just he's he's he's, he's dry, dancing. Yeah, he's dry humping a piece of wood. I don't. Anyway, uh, back to the show. And uh, then we have, of course, Alan Morrison, who plays Spitz Lubin, the human uh, mage and uh, tavern owner. He owns the local tavern called the Spitz and Ass. Right. Okay. And so, so these, these, these guys go on adventures? They go on adventures and uh, they don't know the adventures they go on. I write the adventures, you know, the outline of the adventures. And when they go to fight monsters, uh, we bring up audience members. Uh, I, I believe that since D&D is a very inclusive game, everybody at the table plays. Since we're in a theater, uh, the entire audience is at the table. So the entire audience participates, whether they be playing uh, villagers, or uh, environment, like fire, or, or anything like that, or the monsters themselves, uh, the entire audience is involved. Nice. And where can people see this great show? Uh, well, it's uh, the last Wednesday of every month at the Rio Theatre in Vancouver. If you're not in Vancouver, come to Vancouver. <laughs> it's a great town. <laughs> Any plans to, uh, to, to stream this show, or take it other places, maybe? Well, uh, one of the problems, of course, of that is uh, Figuring out the schedules of six people. Of course, but it has been to other places. It has been to other places. We performed at the Emerald City Comic Con to uh, incredible success. Nice. I believe we had 250 people. We wound up having to turn away about 70 or 80 people. Sorry, 70 or 80 people. Um, come to Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. You know. um, so yeah, it's it's been it's been a great success. We have shot a bunch of stuff uh, that we want to put online. Or, or maybe a live DVD release. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a please, yeah. We also have a please take pictures and uh, please make videos of us policy. 
So there are people who you can see clips uh, on the YouTube uh, that you can find that on the internet. So do a YouTube search for Critical Hit Show. You can see some of our uh, fights. You can see some of our more, some of our, you know, other little scenes that we've done. You can even see a love scene. Nay! Whoa. An intercourse scene <laughs> between a certain elf barbarian and actor Billy Campbell, famous for being the title character in the film The Rocketeer. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Ah, and it was, it, it was, it was, yeah, it was great. Like, there was actual fireworks, all to the strains of our bard improvising a song. On the ukulele, wow. I believe. On the, actually, I think he had a guitar Did he have a guitar that day? I think he actually okay. brought his guitar. I said, dude, bring your guitar. Yeah. He said, why? I said, just trust me, I'm the DM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great show. Yeah, so we do wacky, crazy stuff on the show. Like it gets, it does, it gets crazy and we're building up towards uh, our big, uh, our big climax. We've got, a, we've got a story arc that I've hidden through the show so far this year. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing a, a wedding episode is coming up. What? We've got We've got our Halloween episode. Uh, that, of course, will be in October. And, of course, our annual uh, critical hit show, Owl Bear Life Day Spectacular in November. <laughs> but great for, holiday. Yeah. It is a great, <laughs> holiday great holiday when all the owl bears come out and we yeah. all reminisce about B. Arthur. Right on. Right on. Now, I've seen the show a couple of times, and it's always a lot of fun. I mean, the interaction of the audience with, with you guys up on stage is always, uh, it's, it's a great point, oh, you know, you. In, the, uh, yeah, in the show. Um, do you have a particular show that is your favorite? It's, it's hard to say, because I'm always uh, thinking about, and by thinking about, I mean having anxiety attacks about yeah, I know. the <laughs> next show. It's always for me about the next show, because I'm like, oh, crap, I ended uh, the uh, July show, on a bit of a cliffhanger, a dwarf appeared at the bar at the end and demanded that Brask Hellbeard come back to his uh, home uh, underneath a mountain to uh, face charges because he used to be a fighter and he changed to a bard and the High Council of Dwarves have frowned upon that. Of course. So now I gotta, I gotta figure that out. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a lot of Law and Order <laughs> for the trial of Brask Hellbeard. Yeah, I wonder but, what the legal system of the dwarves would be like. Ooh, 12 Angry Dwarves! <laughs> oh man! That's what we'll do, a yeah. A good dwarves. Yeah, it's, it, you know, dwarfer versus dwarfer. It, 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 it'll just keep going. And then, yeah, then September, um, the mayor of the town that they defend is getting married to a mysterious woman named Millicent. Who I believe he's never met. He's never met. Yeah. They met, uh, they're, like... they're pen pals. They're basically the D&D equivalent of uh, internet dating. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's cool. really exciting. Cool. Well, um, when's the next show? The next show is the last Wednesday of August. Okay. Which is somewhere in the final week of the month. Yeah, and no, I, I can't. I'm just trying to think of the date. I can't even. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of the date. It's the last Wednesday of August. Yeah. Look at your Google Calendar and just look to the bottom. Ah, that's the last Wednesday right there. Uh, yeah, and you can get more information at criticalhitshow.com where we're going to be doing video recaps of, of every show from, I guess, July on. We just decided we should probably do that because we're now getting pretty story heavy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Find out uh, more on the Twitter and the Facebook and the Internet. Awesome. Cool. Websites. All right. The awesome. www. Well, good. Yeah. Com. Okay, so go see the Critical Hit Show. Eric Check Bell, everybody. Thanks, Yay! Eric Bell. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Internet. Planet Earth. And we'll see you guys on the next session. Mm -hmm.